Based on the assumption that I can determine the ESR of a capacitor with a voltage divider circuit, I first want to try out if this is the case and I use LT Spice for that. What I need is a ground connection and a signal generator that I set up here. Of course the capacitor, which is our device under test. And for a voltage divider, I also need a resistor. There we go, wire it all up. Yeah, I forgot a ground connection there. And that is all there is to the circuit. Of course, uh, all the components need their values. For this capacitor, I go for uh, um, 10 microfarads. And I simply assume an ESR of 1.7 ohms. And if all works out as I think it should, that's what we'll measure. I'll go for a 100 ohms resistor and I need to change the signal source to a sine wave generator. The actual <coughs> signal level doesn't really matter because it's all, um, well, being, being a voltage divider circuit, it's all a matter of um, relations between the two voltages. And frequency should be 100 kilohertz. Okay, here we go, can start the simulation. I gotta find the right start and stop times for it. It's a bit of an experimentation. Yeah, that's obviously too long a time. I need to go for, for a shorter period, even shorter than that. So what we're looking at now is just a 2.2 millisecond um, time period. Uh, if I hold down the um, control button and click on the on the voltages, I get the the measured values of the of the simulation. Okay, we we'll make note of this of that as well and put that into a little java script i made here again is the circuit uh you gotta watch out because it's a bit different than uh, measuring voltages in a voltage divider with a um, with a multimeter Okay, put in the values there. And if all works out correctly, we'll end up with 1.7 ohms. Yep. Okay, in theory, um, my circuit does work. Uh, so, onto the workbench. First thing I do is zero out my meter to make sure I have the have it zeroed properly and I measure the value. It's just carbon film uh, resistor, so these are never quite precise. It's 98 ohms. Right, the capacitor I am testing with this cheap uh, tester has 0.9 ohms ESR and let's see how that compares to what we get with the method described before. I hook up my um, signal generator and my scope and I set the scope to heavy averaging to smooth out the 
the noise that I that I always get. You see it react, uh, reacting a bit sluggish. Okay, the second channel should show a bit more amplitude. So I increase the sensitivity to get a proper reading. That looks better. Yeah, I made a proper screenshot. We'll see that in a moment uh, where we can also read the values. I said 100 kilohertz um, and the peak to peak values of the two of the two curves. Put that into the uh, calculator, JavaScript. All in millivolts, so you have to shift the, the, the decimal points around a bit. And our 98 ohms resistor. Okay, that is significantly less than the GPSR tester got. I have another capacitor, one with a somewhat higher ESR. This reads out as 1.1 ohms. And let's see if applying the same method to that capacitor will end up with a higher ESR than before. At the low voltages that we are working with in this voltage divider, it doesn't really matter which which way round you put in the capacitor. Won't do any harm to it. I'm just saving a few screenshots for later. Right, and here is the reading we have. Again, frequency 100 kilohertz, peak to peak value 3.22 volts and 29 point something millivolts. And that uh, results in obviously less than 1.1 ohms, but in significantly more than uh, what we saw with the previous uh, capacitor. So what's the verdict? Well, you tell me.